All right, guys, welcome to Farmland Mobility. My name is Coach Alex, or everyone calls me Bergie here. Today, we're gonna to be doing some posterior chain uh, mobility. If there's one thing the farmland needs, and that is more supple hamstrings, okay? So, in order to make sure that we are able to see changes through our mobility, we're gonna do a test and retest, and we're gonna use my friend here, Rhino. Okay, what he's gonna do, guys, he's just gonna do a simple hinge test, and what we're gonna use is just a PVC pipe in order to, here you go, Rhino, in order to see it. So all Rhino's gonna do, guys, is gonna stand nice and tall. He's gonna have a slight bend in the knee, retracting the scaps. He's just gonna send his hips back as far as he can, letting that PVC pipe go as far as he can without letting his thoracic area round. And that looks like that's about as far as he can go. Go ahead, come on up. Good, all right. So what we're gonna do today, guys, it's called the classic posterior uh, banded uh, mobility. So what Rhino is going to do, he's going to have the band hooked up around the bottom of the foil brick like that. For this mobility guys, you will need two one inch either green bands, purple or black bands, okay? So what Rhino is going to do, he's going to lay on his back. He's going to hook that band guys, all right, in the front part, the anterior part of his hip. Then with the same foot, he's going to take another band He's gonna wrap that around his foot twice, so it's nice and secure, okay? Make sure you get that in the right spot, Rhino. Good, okay? Make sure, guys, that band doesn't slip off. Rhino, he can actually bend his knee if he needs to to get into position. You got it, Rhino? I'm not sure, here you go. <laughs> All right, so to get into this, guys, Rhino's gonna add a little bit of tension by scooting back as far as he can. This leg that doesn't have the band is gonna be flat on the ground. His back is gonna be down on the ground. The object of this stretch, guys, is to have the leg straightened the whole time, toe pointed back. What he's gonna do is he's gonna grab both reins like a horse. He's gonna use the contract relax. So he's going to contract his leg as hard as he can for five seconds, four, three, two, one, then just relax it. Next, he's going to then pull it a little bit further in. Okay, again, contract for five, four, three, two, one, relax. He's going to do this, guys, for about two minutes each side, just contracting and relaxing, really fighting, trying to get that leg straight and relax. One key thing for this, guys, is that you should not feel any burning sensations or warm sensations on the medial part of your leg. If you guys do feel that, Try to position yourself so you don't, either having a slight bend in the knee or just not having as much tension on the band, okay? So Ryan, after two minutes there, he'll switch sides. You can go ahead and just do a couple more reps on the other side. Make sure you guys hit that evenly. You don't want to be disproportional. Same setup, guys. Get that band in the anterior part of the hip. Wrap that band twice around the uh, middle part of the foot. And then scooch on back as far as he can. Same thing here, guys. Okay, pulling that foot back, locking out the leg, pulling down on the reins, contract and relaxing. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Move it to a new area. Again, contract, relax. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax, okay? You can take up to 10 seconds in between that relax and contract phase. You don't need to go right into it, all right? So after about two minutes, if Rhino was doing this for real, you would switch legs. If you wanted to, again, if he's feeling like he needs to hit the other side, but you don't need to, just one per side is fine. And then, retest, okay? So same thing guys, holding the PVC pipe, shoulders back and down, slight bend in the knee. He's going to go ahead and hinge, hinge, hinge. And there was a slight change. He did get a little bit lower. We were up here just above the knee and now we're just below the knee, okay? If he were to do that for two more minutes, I wouldn't be surprised if he's able to get maybe around mid shin, okay? So go ahead guys. I would advise doing this at least once or twice a week and definitely after any time we deadlift, okay? Uh, stay tuned for more, thanks.